Oh, good evening. Um, what I'm doing this evening is I've just started a painting. Um, it's a commission, which I occasionally get commissions. Um, I don't, I don't always take them these days, but um, I've just started this, and I thought, well, I could tell you about. Um, I could tell you about how how I started being a painter full time and uh, somehow managed to make a fairly decent living out of painting. Um, and uh, I, I used to love it. I, it's, an, it's another escape, it was like, you know, like, like reading. When I was um, a young boy, I was always drawing, or if I had any paints, I would do a painting. I, re I remember I used to copy the uh, mastheads off of the old newspapers, uh, like the News of the World and the Express. They used to have magnificent kind of, I think they're called mastheads, you know, the, the design on the front. I think the um, Daily Express was a, a picture of a knight, a knight of old. Um, yeah, so I, you know, so I, and then I, I was always drawing, never ever stopped drawing, all my life, and um, which is a good thing because I've never a, able to hold down a proper job for very long. Um, I don't know why, I just couldn't do it. I used to get really, really bored. Uh, the only time I could actually keep work was when I was in the Merchant Navy and um, even then I got the sack off of one ship, uh, a very famous ship, um, but I'll tell you about that another time. Yeah, so um, when I was in uh, one of my many incarcerations at Her Majesty's pleasure, <laughs> I would um, I would always manage to get uh, plenty of tobacco or sweets, you know, treats that you need when you're in the nick, through my ability to paint and draw. And uh, I would draw or make coloured pictures of uh, the other cons, loved ones and family, and in exchange they'd give me tobacco. Uh, and I was also very good at writing. I, I don't know where I get the uh, writing ability from. I certainly didn't learn a lot about it at school. But um, yeah, and I used to, I could, I could help. I could read their letters for them. Some of them are illiterate, quite a few of them. And uh, I could, oh, I think, I've, no, I haven't. I thought I turned it off. I could read their letters and uh, I could also write them letters to their family for them, uh, especially um, love letters to their wives and girlfriends. Uh, cons are always, they always love their wives and girlfriends when, they're, when they can't be near them. And uh, yeah, and I, I would uh, get a couple of cigarettes or a half ounce of, uh, no, not a half ounce of tobacco, a quarter ounce of tobacco or just a or just a, an eighth of an ounce, whatever they could sort of afford. But it kept me um, kept me going through the uh, harsh times. And yeah, and art has kept me going when I haven't been able to um, keep a job because of absolute total boredom. So w what I did most of my life was I, I used to do odd jobbing, um, bit of painting and decorating. Actually started off my life, my working life, as a painter and decorator. And uh, after about six months of that, I thought, oh, no, no, I remember. I was talking to a guy, one of the old guys who worked, who was working with me as a painter and decorator. And he was telling me, oh, I've been doing this 50 years, I'm due to retire. And I thought, bloody hell, 50 years. I 
following oh. out there. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry, son. Yeah, thanks, mate. That's my boy. He's just brought me some more firewood. He's a good lad, isn't he? Thanks, son. I'll just get your cat. I'll I won't see. record you. I know you don't like that. I'll be back in a minute with your cat. All oh, right. Uh, I've forgotten where I was. <laughs> forgotten where I was now. Yeah, I used to do odd job in painting and decorating. My first job, yeah, I was the same, was a um, an apprentice painter and decorator. And uh, I didn't particularly like it, but I thought, well, you know, this is it, this is life. And then one day I was talking to one of the other guys, an older bloke, I think, I think his name was Kim, and he was talking about he was about to retire. He'd been doing this all his life. She's gone. All right, don't worry about it, Do you mate. you want anything at the shop? No, I'm all right, thanks, son. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, he'd been, Kim, his name was, and he'd been working at it all his life, and, oh, when I was talking to him one day, just before I left, in fact, it was this talk about how long he'd been doing it, and I thought, my God, no. I couldn't be doing this job for 50 years and uh, I gave him my notice the next next week. I, I was getting £2 eight shillings a week. That's 40... Oh, I don't know how much it is in... I can't work out how much it is in today's money, but it was £2 eight shillings a week and I had to pay one pound ten shillings i think it was for my rent and uh yeah it was awful because some of my friends were earning 20 quid this was in uh in the 60s so yeah so i went i joined the merchant navy and guess what i was doing in the merchant navy painting <laughs> painting the bloody ships but it was a better life and of course i saw a bit of the world so that you know that was it. But the Merchant Navy I could tolerate. Um, you know, it was an institutionalised sort of life. And uh, of course, I couldn't get away from it once I was on the ship. You could be away for weeks, months, even in the tankers. Um, yeah. And that's how I got into the old... Uh, being an artist. And uh, somehow managed to make money at it. And I've always done it, always been an artist. And I don't know where else this is going, but um, maybe I'll think of something else to say in a minute. I'm trying to concentrate on uh, how I'm going to paint this, this picture. And uh, what I've got is a very ordinary house, looking house. But the guy who's commissioned it has said he wants it to be a John Bain painting, which is uh, quite nice. It means I've got a style that people like. So uh, I'll get on with that and uh, maybe, maybe I'll get back. Or maybe I'll just say goodbye now. But uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I used to um, go in pubs as well. When I didn't have any money, I'd go in a pub and I'd sit there doing portraits and uh, I'd do a portrait for a pint, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's come in very handy, the old, um, the old painting and drawing for someone who um, couldn't keep a job. That's not to say I was lazy. I always managed to get work, but it would be work that I'd find myself. Like, um, I had a window cleaning round in the village, which I built up because I had some ladders. And it was the kind of job, you know, I'd, I'd go to it when I wanted to. Um, that's another problem with my work. I've always, I've never, ever, ever been able to go to bed at a reasonable time at night. I'm always up until the wee small hours of the morning doing something or other, mainly painting. Nowadays, you get these uh, modern lights that uh, you could be out all, up all night and uh, it's just like being in daylight. Um, I'm not sure if this is very interesting for you, but 
it's another vlog post and I must get on with this painting. Um, thanks everyone for subscribing and to anyone who might want to subscribe please do and uh, this might not be the most interesting uh, little story I've told you but as I say I've got this painting on my mind and I I better get on with it otherwise it will never get done. See you later.